guys welcome back to my channel this is Avalon Polka Dots and my name is Kerr and on this channel we talk about makeup skincare and beauty so if that's something you're into you've come to the right place hola a todos y bienvenidos a mi canal Avalon Polka Dots me llamo Kerr y en este canal hablamos de maquillaje cuidado de piel y belleza entonces si eso es algo que te gusta has venido al lugar correcto Yay! I have not filmed in a long time, you guys, so I'm really happy to be here. I'm glad to see you. Um, this might could be a long video because I kind of feel like I just want to haul everything over here so I can start using it and sharing all of these in other videos, but we're going to see how, how much time we have. I'm not going in any particular order, so grab yourself something to eat or drink. Si uh, tiene sed o tiene... What is it? Tiene hambre? hambre? Um, yeah. Uh, necesitas uh, agua o café o you know soda whatever you want to grab because we're going to talk about a lot of stuff um i have brought all this stuff such a long time ago that um real talk i don't even remember what's in half of these bags so we about to see together a juntos okay primero este se fuera pero 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 um Todos, uh, los todos no, how do you say it? Nos, nos, los todos no, I cannot remember how to say it. I'm going to put in how to say it. like, it's not all from Sephora. Some of the stuff is from, oh no, wait. Yeah, some of the stuff is from other places too. So, por ejemplo, este es de Sephora and it is Fable and Main. It is the Good Karma hair set. I grabbed this when I went shopping with some friends of mine. And let's just see. I'm going to show you what's in here. So it opens up like this. Ooh, there we go. And then there's like a little tab here. And I think you can just pull it out. Yeah, there we go. So this is what the set looks like. And it comes with, let's see. What does it say on the box? This comes with the... Hair oil, shampoo, conditioner, and a hair mask. And I grabbed it because they had a really good deal going on where if you got this, you also got like, I don't know, three times the points or something like that. And I thought that would be good because it's hard for me to justify shopping at Sephora if I'm not getting like a really good deal or... The only time really I'm shopping there now is when something I want at Ulta is not there. It's only at Sephora. So they're really small bottles, which means that I'll probably be able to use these twice and just get the hang of the product and see if it's something I enjoy. I love kits like this because if it's a brand where I'm trying to figure out, like, do I like it or not, then I can try out a little bit of all that they offer. Like, I think these are all hero products for them, especially this one. I've used this before and I love it. So I'm kind of excited. I'm on the, the lookout for some new hair products. I think the hair products I have are good, but I just, I get bored. Like I'm ready to try something different. And then also in this bag, and I wish I would have opened this sooner because I forgot these were in here. I picked up some soap from Lush. Lush is one of my favorite stores. The soap is Karma, and I picked up two bars because it's my favorite one. It smells amazing. When you guys use this soap, it makes like your whole house smell so good. And then I have picked up another... Sorry, I know that's loud. I picked up another one of these and actually used it already. When I was shopping, I think we used it. So it's the Little Touchland um, hand sanitizer. And this one is in Glow Mist, which I think was like a new scent. That's why I grabbed that one. Okay. And then what else we got in here? Oh, I forgot. So I went to Chanel, as one does. And I picked up some goodies. A goodie, actually, not some one. Tengo um, solo uno. Oh no, no me recuerda nada. Tengo, ¿cuánto? Uh, let's see how many things we have in here. Because clearly I forgot. <laughs> so I think that my essay ended up giving me, yeah, that's what it was. I got some samples in my bag my essay shout out thank you so much i really appreciate you for that these are the samples 
So we'll give the Chanel skincare a try. What I actually went in there for were these. This is a lipstick that I've been wanting. It's the Rouge Allure Velvet and the color is in the shade. What is this one? Hold on. Rouge. Oh, this is the one that's in the shade three, like three o'clock. And this is the packaging for it. Girl, you knew I had to have it. It's got the monogram on the top. And this is one of the ones where you push the button and it opens. So I'll show you the color. Isn't that beautiful? That's gorgeous. This is perfect for spring. So this will be my spring shade for sure. Kind of excited to put that on. So again, this is from Chanel. I love Chanel. Their packaging is like, their packaging is absolutely top tier. Are you seeing this? It's so beautiful. And this, they made this packaging different from the other Rouge Allure because this is the um, velvet line. I'm trying to get into some matte lipsticks as you'll see here in a minute. And they always pack their stuff so beautifully. The tissue paper says Chanel on it. The bag, the ribbon, the Graz gain, Graz grain ribbon says Chanel. Just little touches like that are why I really enjoy shopping at um, Chanel and at Dior for that matter. Dior does a fantastic job with their packaging. But also I picked up the Le Beige Water Fresh Blush in Deep Apricot. This is so, so pretty, you guys. I have to show it to you. Let me show you. It's definitely got a learning curve. I'm telling you right now, like a serious learning curve because you put a little, little, well, actually, let's just do it. You can put a tiny, tiny little bit, and I mean a tiny little bit, on you and it just like that's even that is probably too much let me show you what i'm talking about watch this you ready you take it do you see how how much pigment is in there there's so much it's like I hope that's picking up on camera so if you guys do decide to buy this just make sure that when you do buy it you are aware that it's very pigmented and just use a little tiny bit at a time and then you can work it in and after you work it in it gives the most beautiful flush I think you can see that it's so pretty it's like it's beautiful I love this blush I recommend it for sure um what else we got I wasn't expecting to do swatches. I should swatch that lipstick for you though so you can see what I'm talking about. And then I'll wipe my hand and we'll keep going. So remember, springs up like that. And then, let's see. Look at that. That is definitely my color. <laughs> Me gusta um, mucho los colores como de eso porque es... Um, it goes well with my skin. It's um, like really complimentary. Okay, what else do we have? Hold on. Y'all, I haven't filmed in so long. I forgot to grab some of my stuff and put it where I can reach it. We are all over the map, aren't we? There's some stuff I have over here I can't show you because it's from work, sorry. Um, full disclosure, I work for Costco. I've worked there for 24 years. I am the e-com assistant buyer for makeup and skincare, and nothing in this video is sponsored. Nobody's asked me to do anything. Nothing. It is not at all associated with work. Anything I bought, I bought with my own coin. So let's get that out the way. All right. And do I have more stuff in this bag? Oh, yeah. I guess so. Last thing in the bag was the whole reason I had a Macy's bag. I just bought a pair of jeans. I got a pair of the... um. The ink, I love that brand. I wear a size 12 in case you guys are wondering. And this was on sale, so I just grabbed some jeans. Toss that over there, and they smell good now because that soap was in that same bag. And then this is from, this is not the bag that this came in. It's just a bag that I got when I was at my dentist's office. This is all stuff that's from TJ Maxx. Let me pull this out so you can see it. Because, you know, every time I go into TJ Maxx, I just want to see kind of what's in there and see what they got going on. In this case, I had to really limit myself from getting skincare because I have so much skincare, you guys. But I couldn't stop myself when I saw this. This is from Marion May, and it is the Vegan Sika Tea Tree 
AHA PHA blemish toner. I'm almost done with my Anua toner, the 77% one. So when I'm done with that, I'm going to open this and try this out. I fly through toners. Do you guys fly through toners? Like I use toners like quick, like a bunny. This one is the Face Shop and it's White Seed Brightening Lotion. And when they say like brightening or lightening, that is not what they're talking about, you guys. They're talking about uniformity of the color of your skin, like to help it to be clear. So we don't do whitening products on this channel, but that's what that is. And then also I grabbed this because they had quite a few of these and Holika Holika is a good brand. It's the Gold Kiwi Vita C Brightening Toner Pads. I have some toner pads that I'm testing out right now in my bathroom from Rodial, Rodial, they're the vitamin C ones. So I wanted to see some other brands, vitamin C pads to see if there's something different about them. This is from Peach or excuse me, from Skin Food. It's the Peach Saki Pore Toner. And I wanted to buy this before. They have it at Ulta, I think. I believe it comes in two different sizes and I grabbed the bigger size. This is the 160 mils. And I just have always wanted to try it. I don't know why, I just finally grabbed it. This is what the bottle looks like. And we're gonna see, I love toners, as you well know by now, I'm sure. So we'll throw that in the toner pile. And then I couldn't believe this, but they had this for like $16. So I grabbed it. It's She from Alfred Sung. I used to wear this perfume years and years ago. I mean, many years ago. I was probably like in my early 20s. So when I saw this, I think I probably grabbed it for nostalgic purposes more than anything. So yeah. What else we got over here, you guys? We have, let's see. Oh, yep. Let's show this for sure. I picked up another product from skin po oops that's right I have to cover the picture I picked up another product from skin potion and I'm going to show you what it is it is the Costa del Sol yeah Costa del Sol revitalizing body oil this is the one that is made with passion fruit and Tahitian Manoy and it's really, really strong. They're all strong. Every one of them. I got the cookie butter. I have uh, Kama Sutra. That was the first one I ever bought. And I'll buy another bottle as soon as that one runs out. And I like it. This is going to be perfect for summer because it smells super duper fruity. It's very like, it smells like a tropical fruit salad. That's what it smells like. It's very, very fruity, very sweet. I can smell the Manoy, but I'm telling you, I think it's like, the passion fruit that really takes over. So I like it. I like their products a lot. I'm thinking about buying some products from Brown Sugar Babe. I know I've talked about that before, but I keep looking and I feel like a lot of their oils are like right up my alley. So if anything, if I do buy anything from them, I'll let you guys know. Oh gosh, here we go. So we have more um, stuff from, this is the bag that's mixed. Also, it's not just Sephora. I think I have stuff in here from Ulta. I know I have stuff in here from Ulta. So let's pull that out. First, I finally picked up the Natasha Denona palette. It's the Xenon. So this is the one that's like the grays and blacks and all that. Because I really wanted to have a palette that was a little more... Um, that had a little more in the colorway in terms of options. I have the one from, is it Dior? I think it's Dior. I think it's called Black Tie. I love that palette. It's so beautiful. It's perfect, as a matter of fact, to do like a really nice going out dramatic look. But I wanted to have something that had a few more color options in it. And that's why I've decided to pick this one up. And you know I love Natasha Denona anyways. So, you know, nobody had to pull my leg to pick up this palette. I'll tell you like that. So this is what it looks like. You guys have seen this before and I'll definitely be doing some looks with this because I do have some stuff coming up where, you know, I want to do like a more dramatic look. I just went to a gala last weekend and I could have done a dramatic look for that, but I guess I forgot. Um, let's pull out this stuff. So Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> 
so much stuff. So we have here, I think every single thing in my hand right here is Charlotte Tilbury, I think, except for this. Yep. <laughs> so all this right here is all Charlotte Tilbury and let's break it down. Let's just break it down. I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. I got color matched in the shade nine warm or showed. And if we are skin twins, this color is the best match I could come up with. The lady, the associate helped me. Shout out to you. Thank you so much. But this is the match that we came up with that worked best. So instead of going a little bit, I could have gone a little bit darker, but I think that this one is probably, I can finesse it a little bit. It's a little bit warm is what I'm saying. Let me show you what I mean. So come on. There we go. Okay, so here's the color right here, but when you work it in, I don't think it's picking up on camera and probably because my shirt's like in the way. It is a really beautiful match, but it's just a little bit a hair red. Otherwise it's perfect. Otherwise it's really a great match. And that was the closest one we could come to because the next one down, it was just like a little bit too dark. I would have to use more powder and just do all kind of stuff to kind of make it work. And I'm not trying to do all that when I want to be able to put a face on. So with this one, I'll be able to balance out the red, no problem. And it will come out looking just right. Okay. So for Charlotte Tilbury, I, Tilbury let's pronounce it correctly. I also picked up the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand in High Blush. The color is Pink Gasm. You guys have seen these before. This is definitely not a new product. It's, you know, you've seen it. And I'll show it to you though. Here you go. That's what it looks like. It's this one with the fuzzy little wand on the end of it. And you take it and you're supposed to, I think, there's like an on and yeah, there's like an on and off button here to keep the product from coming out and you can dab it on your cheeks and then you can blend it in. I'm not going to do that right now because I'm not ready to start using this product, but I just wanted to point out what it looked like. I don't know what's up with me buying products that have sponges, you guys, <laughs> because I'm not necessarily a huge fan of like products that have a sponge on the end of it. I just feel like it's a breeding ground for bacteria, but here we are. So I picked up a lipstick. It's the Super Nudes Luminous Modern Matte Long Lasting Lipstick in the shade Super Fabulous. Let's pull this out so I can show you. I'm not a huge fan of matte lipsticks, but I think I am coming into... <laughs> Why do I always have so much trouble opening boxes? I think I'm coming into my matte lipstick era. And I figured the best way to do that would be with a Charlotte Tilbury lip. Why not? This is so pretty. The packaging is so glamorous. And of course, I picked a color that is like <laughs> so me. Um, yeah. Do you want to see a swatch of it? Let's see. How about right here? There you go. I love my nudes. I love my browns and tans. And I heard that this formula is very comfortable to wear. So... That's why I grabbed it. We can leave this out because I'm about to start using this. Um, what else do we have here? We have another Charlotte Tilbury lip. This is uh, the Pillow Talk Kissing Fallen from the Lipstick Tree in the shade Pillow Talk number three intense. Here's the box for it. There's the top and I'm going to show it to you. When I first saw the Pillow Talk lipsticks, I was like, oh, that's cute. But I wanted something that was a little bit darker, so I was waiting. And I'm glad that she came out with a couple more shades. It has the same kind of packaging. This is so pretty with the monogram on top. It's just gorgeous. It just feels really elegant. And you can see that this bullet is shaped differently. And I think that's just to indicate that it's a different formula. Or maybe it's to indicate it's a different line. I'm going to swatch it for you right here. This one has a lot more red in it, but it still is a lovely shade of brown. So yeah, I'm about that life. I'm gonna leave this out because I'm gonna start wearing this one too. Watch me. 
All right. And then we also have here the Hot Lips Refillable. Ooh, that's good. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Amazing Animal Lipstick. And I don't really know. Do I feel like opening this? Let's just open it. So you take it and you slide this one out. It's like a little shelf. And that's what the packaging looks like. Gorgeous. Look at that. So art deco. And then if you take off the lid, you have the lipstick right here. Who's surprised? Who's surprised that it would be a wine or a berry? No one is surprised. So that's what the shade looks like there. I mean, if I'm going to buy a lipstick, I'm going to peek. I keep buying lipsticks in the same shades because those are the shades that I really enjoy. So that would be why. And then I also grabbed the other hot lips, but this one is in Viva La Vergara. And I think that's for Sofia Vergara. And again, it just slides out like this. Beautiful, beautiful packaging. So pretty. And we're going to take this, open it up. Look at that. And then here's the color. I wanted something a little bit vampy because I got rid of a whole ton of my MAC lipsticks because they went bad. They're just old. But I wanted some replacements, and so I thought that this would be a really good one. This one is more of a berry tone compared to the other ones, and it's got almost like a little bit of peach in it, like a little more yellow. So I thought that would be good to have. And then lastly, in this little bunch here, we have for Charlotte Tilbury, the Matte Revolution Luminous Modern Matte Long Lasting Lip. It comes in this box. And the shade I picked up is M.I. Kiss. And I'll show you that one as well. Y'all, I'd be opening my boxes like a Neanderthal, just breaking, tearing it all up. Same uh, packaging. And that's what this one looks like. I know, I know. I buy the same colors. I know I do, but that means I'll wear them, right? This formula is a lot more, um, how do you call it? Like it's a lot more smooth, I guess. It goes on a little more smoothly than the other ones. Not to say the other ones are not smooth, but this formula just feels a little more satiny would be a good word to describe it. And we're going to leave that one out as well because I'm going to start using that too. And then lastly, we have from that same little group, three more items. So this is from Huda Beauty and it's a color corrector and I picked it up in papaya. I know you guys have seen this before. This is not new. I wanted to try this out before, but they didn't actually have this in store where I lived. So I had to wait for them to have the product over at Sephora and then I was able to test it and figure out if this is what I wanted. This is going to take the place of my Milani um, color corrector that I use all the time and I'll show you what it looks like on my hand. Little goes a long ways. So when I do go to use this, I'm just going to um, take the doe foot applicator and I'm just going to dot it and then I'll blend it in because there's no way anybody is going to ever use that much product. Look how much came out just off of that one little swipe from the doe foot applicator. So yeah, that's plenty. Lastly, I picked up some more Sol de Janeiro because who in the world doesn't want to pick up more Sol de Janeiro? I picked up the Cherosa 59 Perfume Mist in the little tub as well as the body spray. So I can wear these together and see if I like it. I think I will. I can't remember what the notes are. It's supposed to be... Let's see. It says it's a prebiotic hibiscus and Brazilian soothing complex. And that's it. That's what it says. Love it, flaunt it, you've got it. Oh, it's a cute tagline. I like that. So yeah, grab those from Sephora too. I have so much more stuff, you guys. Oh my God. We're going to have to break this video up. We're going to have to break it up into like more than one video because I have at least one, two, three, four, at least maybe five more boxes sitting here and I have stuff that's still coming in. I just wanted to get the ball rolling on these videos so I could start sharing some of these products with you, let you know what I think of them, let you know if I use them, I like them, if I didn't like them, what I you know, would combine them with, not combine them with, all that fun stuff. So stay tuned. You'll be hearing about all of these going forward. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate your time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.